carrying on with our TVA activation exercises, you can progress to doing this from a kneeling position. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna take that eccentric contraction of the transverse abdominis by bringing air all the way into our belly, bring it into the lower part as well. And bring your air down there. There we go, yeah, all the way out. And see how he really lets his abdomen go? You have to do that in this exercise to get that full eccentric stretch of the transverse abdominis. Now he's going to exhale and contract that entire area. So from the pubic bone all the way up into those lower ribs. And again, no movement in the spine. Go ahead and take another one. Big inhale into the entire abdomen. Exhale, contract. And it's worth noting, we're going to breathe this way when we're doing isolated contractions of the transverse abdominis. This will not translate into every move. You're not always going to take a big inhale and completely relax the abdomen like that. But for our purposes here, isolating and getting that mind-muscle connection with our TVA, you need to take that big inhale. So go ahead, one more big inhale. Fill in the belly, exhale, contracting from the lower ribs all the way into those lower abdominals. Really nicely done. And that is... Oh, and then let's look again at the difference between what Hunter is doing here and a stomach vacuum. So he's going to go ahead and bring it into a stomach vacuum. See how it kind of draws? This is where you'll hear that cue of belly button up to your ribs or up inside your ribs. This is a stomach vacuum, but notice now his ribs are really flared right there. So he's not getting that upper TVA activation. So go ahead and relax again. You want to make sure that you're not doing that motion, but instead you're doing the entire abdominal wall from those lower ribs down to the pubic bone. Very good. Well done.